Hello. Hello, hello, hello. How is everybody today? I see that my background is crooked. Here we go. Ah, straight. <laughs> How is everyone today? I am so excited to be here. I haven't been here in a while. It feels like I haven't been here in a long time. Because um, I went away and then I hurt my foot and then I've been healing. So, um, yeah. This is the last quantum energy healing um, that's free in my group for this year because the, uh, the year is ending. So look for this uh, free quantum energy healings in January. I do them once a month and um, I just love doing them. I also have a Spanish group. If anyone is bilingual or is um, knows somebody who only speaks Spanish, I have the same exact group uh, healing through you in Spanish. So if you know any of that, um, uh, just let me know and I'll send you the link to that. I just did the quantum energy healing on there as well. So um, as you guys may have known, I hurt my foot two weeks ago. I skipped a step on the stairs and I chipped a bone on my ankle and I ended up in the emergency room and um, I was sending myself energy the entire time and I have taught this before um, in this group where you form a ball of energy in your hands just like this and then you put that energy ball on the area that uh, you hurt yourself and that's exactly what I did um, so I just want to show you my boot see here's my big boot um, so when that happened they told me uh, six to eight weeks before I could you know be healed and not to put any weight on it for like a whole week until I saw the orthopedic and then after that we'll see what happens and then that week after uh, I saw the orthopedic and he gave me the walking boot right away and I was able to start walking and putting pressure on it right away after one week um, of doing my energy healing. So I have shared some of the stuff that I did and I, what I'm really passionate about is sharing with you uh, how you can use energy to heal yourself and others as well. And I love teaching it because it just empowers us, right? We all have this. We all are able to do it. We are all born with it. We have just been taught that it is uh, not possible. Hi, Patty. Nice to see you. Uh, or that we don't have the power to do that. But the truth is that we are able to do it and we can use our energy and that we all can do it. It's not just me. It's all of us. And all you have to do is believe in yourself or have your eyes open to that possibility and do it. So today we're going to do uh, the quantum energy healing, but I'm also going to teach you, I'm gonna give you one of the tips that I did during my uh, workshop that I did on how to heal yourself. I had a free two day workshop on how to heal yourself in this group. The first one was live, the second one was uh, through Zoom, which is not available, it's only for the people who were there. And um, so I'm going to show you one of those things so that you can try it right now and feel the difference in your energy, okay? So, um, okay, so right down to it because this is the way I work. I tend to just go straight down to what I'm teaching. I don't like to waste time. I'm very direct and very simple forms so that you have the tools and you're able to use them. So right now, if you're here or if you're watching this in the future, I want you to just put your hands together like this and feel the energy between your hands. So just like feel or become aware of the space around your hands. And if you kind of like gently move your hands like this, you might feel some type of push-pull between your hands, which is your life force energy. So you have life or force energy, that is your life energy. That's what makes you alive. That's what makes you be able to, to speak and move and think and do all the things, right? So we have our body, our physical three-dimensional body, and then we have all of this energy field, our life force energy that goes all around us. It runs inside and outside, mostly outside uh, of our dense body. And it's, it's those energies that we are working with because we're all energy. So when you realize that we are all energy and energy is not dense, then you're able to move that energy and create really lasting, fast results that um, will take much longer to take place on a dense body. So this is what we work with the energy field. The quantum energy field works really fast. 
because you're working at the sub level of the cell. So we're all made out of cells, right? And then if you look inside each cell, you have like the nucleus, and then what is each nucleus made out of? And you have all these little things, right? All these scientific words, the atoms, and then and the electrons, and all of those things, right? But then when you really look down deep into to see what each one of those are made out of, there's nothing there. It is not dense, it's just energy, which makes us all energy. And this physical dense body that we're touching and the computer that I'm touching and everything else that we touch is just an illusion of how all of these atoms and how the energy is arranged so that we can feel this density and this, um, this solid things, right? But we're all made of energy. So when we work on the energy field, when we work with the quantum energy, then you are able to really, this is why it works so fast. You're able to move energy, you're able to get rid of pain, you're able to, to remove disease really, really quickly because it's all energy. And once you have that in understanding, then you're able to really make those changes. So now that you have that energy here, you have that energy in your hands, so what I usually do or tell you to do is to take that energy within your hands and put it where it hurts, right? So let's say my knee was hurting and I'm just using my knee instead of my ankle because it's higher on the screen and you can see it better. Then you would take your ball of energy and put it on your knee and just hold it there. You see, I'm not even touching. If you like to touch, you can touch it and you can hold on to your knee and have that energy. But what you really want to do is form that sandwich, the sandwich of one hand energy whatever you're working on and the other hand so you sandwich the part that you are working on if you have a headache you sandwich your head if it's this way right you can also um, help help heal your eyes right so I'm working on that right now currently on on fixing not fixing uh, improving my eyesight so I do this I do it this way you can do it this way if you want but the the eye is a little bit different because there's a cavity in there and it just like kind of like the energy I feel it going around it um, if you if it's like a back pain then you can put your hands on your back right or you can sandwich one in the back one in the front right um, wherever it is and if what you're trying to uh, work on what you're intending to work in is uh, heartache right like your heart is broken or you lost someone and you're having um, uh, either sorrow or sadness or fear then you put the energy on your heart area right um, if you're having anxiety then you can put it on your head right you put the energy on your head area so this is all types of things that come to you naturally and I'm going to prove it to you so let's say um, you fall down and you hurt your knee right you hurt your knee the first thing you do is like ouch right and what do you do you're grabbing the part of your body that hurts that's innate you just do it you have, you don't know why you do it you do it you just put it there why do you think you're doing this because you remember part of you that when you put your own life force energy onto the area that hurts you are actually putting healing energy your own healing energy on it and this is why we grab it so you're like oh my gosh I have a headache and you're touching right oh my head right you go like this and then you're grabbing your hands and you're sandwiching the headache between your hands right this is innate you just do it everybody does it right whenever something hurts you just grab it it's it's natural that's what you do it's natural and it is just as natural as you are able to use your own energy to heal yourself so this is the part that we have forgotten this is the part that we are told doesn't work or that we can't do this is the part that we have been conditioned to heal with medicines that are actually not healing it but are just treating the symptom they're not getting rid of what causes it right but your life force energy can cure it and um, and get rid of it from the core part of it and it just um, has to do with the intention with your love because love frequency is the highest frequency and that's where all the healing comes from this is why I'm always talking about love um, actually that's just my, one of my gifts is all about love and seeing the best in everything when you send love then you're sending your healing energy and um, and also 
having that belief, right? So the belief that what you're doing is actually going to work. If you're like, huh, I don't know, I'm putting my hands here, but yeah, this doesn't really work. Then what's happening is you're telling your body, yes, it's working because I'm putting my hands here. But at the same time, you're saying it's not really working. So you're going back and forth and you're not going anywhere. It's like putting your foot in the brake and the gas pedal at the same time. You don't go anywhere. Nothing happens. So the belief is also a key part in healing yourself and others. And the best way to start to believe in yourself and seeing the results is to get yourself out of it, out of the equation, to believe in the gratitude that you're receiving and to send love to either the part of your body that you're trying to heal or the person that you're trying to heal, that you're working to heal. So you send the love. So when you are in the love and the gratitude um, frame of mind, you're like, oh, I'm sending love. I love you so much. Or you think of something or someone that you love, like it could be a pet, could be a child, could be whatever it is. For you, you get yourself in that frequency of love and you send that energy to the part of your body that you're healing or to the person that you're healing. And then that gets you out of your own way of starting to doubt yourself and think that this maybe doesn't work or it's not going to work for me. So um, those are some of the key points just kind of like summed up in like in like a little really fast ball for you to to understand how it works um, so that you can start doing it. If you want to know more about this, I have a Healing Yourself uh, with Energy course in January. It's four weeks or four times once a week for one hour each and it is on sale right now until the end of the week. I'll talk to you more about it if you're interested in that uh, later on. Okay, so now everybody had the energy and you felt that, right? Now we're gonna do this one exercise. It has to do with the meridians and I showed this at my free uh, workshop uh, last week. So you're going to start tapping onto your chest. I call it like Tarzan, right? Just tap right here. So I'm just, I have my hand like a fist and I'm just tapping on my chest right here. You hear that? And you do this for about 30 seconds to a minute. And you can do that right now. So if you're here right now, or if you're watching the video, start doing this, right? And if you're starting to feel sore here, if it hurts when you do this, then that means that you have stuck energy here and you actually really do need to do this. So if you're doing this and you're like, ouch, ouch, like that feels really sore, then gently you can massage this area gently or press to re press and, and hold to release that pain. I'm, I don't have any pain, I'm just showing you. Um, and then you can go back to the, to the hitting it. That wakes up your meridian energy. Your meridians are they're like rivers of energy. They're rivers flowing of energy and sometimes they get stuck, especially if you're sitting someplace working all the time and you're just sitting at a computer and you're just sitting for like more than two hours, they get stuck. So this is like the center area that you wake up. And then the next part you're going to do is you're going to take one hand, I'm going to take my right hand and I'm going to start tapping the inside of my arm all the way down to my wrist when I get to the wrist, I'm gonna turn my arm over and slap the outside of my arm going upwards. And then I'm gonna repeat it. So in and down, up and out. In and down, up and out. That's the outer part of the, body, of the arm. Then you cross over here and switch to the other side. So again, I go down the inner side of my arm turn it and go up the outside of the arm, go down the inner side of the arm, turn it and go up the outside of the arm. I'm going to do it one more time just to make it even on both arms, going down and up and then you come back here and you finish it. Now I can do it like this, I can do it like this, whichever way you feel better. And then you're going to stop and just be and just hold your hands like this and feel. Tell me, are you feeling more energy now in your hands, your arms, your chest, every part that you actually touched, that you awoken, are you feeling that? Like I'm feeling tingling all around, right? So you should be feeling this as well now that you've woken up. So let me know if you're feeling a difference. And now that you've done that, put your hands like this together again and feel that ball of energy. And now that you have awoken your meridians, 
this ball of energy should feel stronger and it should be easier to feel it to feel that field and I do this I can feel it like my my fingers are all like really really um, buzzing right now and you should be feeling that as well I teach a lot of different ways of waking up your um, meridians and to feel your energy um, in my workshop so that if you want more information on that let me know um, that's going to be in January how, how I teach you how to do it and I have a really a really good special about it as well which is you can actually join and split the cost with up to three people if they are in your house so that means one zoom meeting with you and up to three other people so that will be four maximum for the same price the purpose of this is number one for you to share it because I really want everybody to know how to use their own energy uh, to help others the more people I help and teach how to do this the more those people are able to help themselves and those people that they know number two if you have people there in your presence as you're taking the workshop you will be able to practice right there in real time with other people and that is gold because you can be by yourself doing it and like and having all kinds of doubts but if you have someone else in front of you and you're applying the the things that I'm teaching you with that person or on to that person then that person is going to tell you oh my gosh I'm feeling XYZ and you're gonna be like oh really I had no idea I could do that and that is gold in you remembering and believing that this is true that this is not just hocus pocus or woo woo stuff that this is actually something that you are making an impact and being able to do it so um, I'll let you more, know more about that or you can message me if you're interested in that as well okay so now that you have your energy ball right and it should be much stronger um, I want you to put it in the place that you are wanting to work today and actually if you're here right now uh, please type down the area of your body that you're planning to work on because I am also going to send you energy during the healing to the part that you are wanting to work on so if it's a physical ailment like let's say my foot right my ankle like if it was if I was there I would be like okay work on my ankle right and I would be able to do that for you if it's something um, emotional like my heart is broken I lost a pet or I lost a loved one or I lost my job and I feel very sad and it's, then it's your heart so I will be sending you energy to your heart if it's uh, something with anxiety or that you're just not feeling clear I will be sending energy to your head so put down um, on the chat what it is that you are working on so that I can um, help you with that okay so Patty says I feel it so strong yes right so that's all you have to do is just wake up your meridians so that your energy flows uh, easier through your body and then you'll feel it stronger and I do this every day guys I do this every day um, and sometimes I do it a couple of times a, a day and each time I do it it's just like stronger right okay so Francis solar plexus okay and Patty your head headache okay um, is it a frontal head and I'm, I'm feeling this and feeling head here right right here uh, Kylie solar plexus as well look at you guys okay interesting okay so here we go um, dun, dun, dun. and I want you to really uh, once I start running the energy oh uh, I just want you to get out of the way in terms of don't concentrate or think about your pain I'm going to tell you what you can think about so that you can get out of the way because once you start saying like for example let's say it was my knee right I'll be like okay knee uh, I have pain here I want to get rid of the pain I want to get rid of the pain You're, the things that sometimes we tell each other are contradictory to what we actually want to accomplish and so I'm going to tell you a secret my very first session that I did when I first started my journey and I was practicing I completely bombed it I was like horrible I didn't know what I was doing I panicked I started trying to think of what does everybody do that I need to do because I didn't know what to do and it wasn't that good the person did not feel that good that was like my very first practice and then the second one I listened to my intuition and my intuition said let get yourself out of the way and so I started putting myself into gratitude and I work with the angels so I was working with the archangels and I just started going 
sending energy to the person and I was um, being uh, grateful for the angels for being here, for supporting me, for having my back and for allowing the energy to come through me. So that's what I was putting my attention on. That's exactly what I was thinking. I wasn't thinking um, the person had a, a backache and, you know, get rid of their backache. I wasn't thinking that. I was just putting my hands and allowing the energy to get through to that person and saying thank you to the angels for supporting me and being here. And it, and it was a fantastic session. The person completely uh, lost all of the pain sensation they had. It lasted. Uh, after a week, they still were fine, something that, that was like a chronic issue, and um, it was that powerful. And so I'm asking you, when I start transferring the energy, for you also to get out of the way and to just go into that place of gratitude where you are just saying thank you to whomever or whatever it is that you work with. So if you work with God, if you work with the angels, if you work with the Buddha, if you work with the light beings, if you work whatever it is for you, just be in that um, sense of being grateful as I transfer the energy. And then the other thing that I remember that I wanted to tell you was, I always start with a meditation so that we can ground, so that we can clear our bodies and minds so that we can receive the energy. But here's the secret. You don't actually need to do that. You can just give energy, right? When somebody falls or when you fall and you go, ouch, my knee, you don't go, okay, let me, let me ground, let me clear, let me, you don't do that. You just go immediately to put your hands on the area that hurts and you start giving yourself energy whether you knew it or not and you start healing yourself. For quantum energy healing, you do not need to ground, you do not need to meditate or to get yourself in a place that's going to take you a long time before you actually start transmitting your energy. You can just do it. Uh, I am going to do a very short meditation just to calm you down in case you need it, but I wanted to let you know that you do not need that. You can just go ahead and do it, okay? So giving you the freedom uh, for you to practice and, and explore and, and try this on your own because it does work. And I've done it many times on myself where I'm like, I'm doing it already. I'm like, wait, did I do that? I'm like, oh, wait, but it's working. So yeah, it does, it, you don't need it, okay? All right, but with saying that, um, let's just drop into our bodies. And what that means is just feel your body. So feel your hands, your arms, your head, your neck, and your chest, your back, and your legs all the way down to the tip of your toes. And that just brings you awareness um, and puts you back in your body in case you're like flying out there, especially with a lot of healers like me. Uh, we're usually a lot of times out there flying and doing work outside of our bodies. And so we want to bring our awareness back to being in our bodies so that we can receive because, because we, re we do receive in our bodies. All right, and now we're going to bring a beautiful golden cord out of the center of the earth. Start bringing that beautiful golden cord through every layer of the earth until it reaches the soles of your feet. And bring it up through our legs really quickly, meeting your root and connecting there with your root. And then moving up through your center body, going up through your chakras, every single one of them. And exiting through your crown or the top of your head, connecting with divine light. And what this does, just to explain, your meridian, right? You're bringing that energy down from your feet up through the center of your uh, body and through your um, head out, you are activating your meridian. So when you are bringing the energy up, I've never explained this, but it's just coming through to explain this today. You're actually activating the whole energy from your body going up to your head. And now the energy you're going to, that now that it's here, you're out there connecting with divine light, you're going to bring it down and coming out through your arms, through your hands, and from your hands, you're going to um, apply it where you need. 
So I have people talking about their heads and I'm ooh, really feeling really hot and the solar plexus for the uh, two other ladies. And now that I am just transmitting the energy with the intention for your highest good and the highest good of everyone connected to us right now, take a deep breath in through your nose as you are filled with gratitude. And all I want you to do right now is just be like, whoever it is that you're working with, I'm going to use the angels as my example because that's who I work with. Just thank you, angels. Thank you, angels. Thank you, angels. Thank you for being here. Thank you for supporting me. And this, um, you can say this in your head. You do not have to say this out loud. This is just, I'm just explaining how it happens in my head. So, and I also um, uh, and bring the specific angels that I'm working with. So Archangel Michael, Archangel Raphael, Archangel Uriel, Archangel Gabriel. Those are my top four angels, my guardian angel. My hands are so hot and sending the energy over to your head, your solar plexus, specific to remove any and all pain. And what I'm also doing here by being in this sense of gratitude is I am really, really rising and elevating my frequency, my energy frequency. And I'm sending you love. And because my energy is so high and so strong, you really have no choice but to come up and meet my high energy. And while you're doing that, because the higher energy is stronger than low energy, um, when you come up to meet my frequency, there is no pain, there is no sorrow, there is no illness on the high frequency. And so you maintain the high frequency and this is where your pain um, releases. And you can do this exact same thing on yourself or with others. And all you have to do is raise your frequency and then send them love as you are holding space for that energy to be really, really high for them, whomever it is that you're working with, whether it's yourself or someone else. Take a deep breath in through your nose and exhale through your mouth. And I'm going to ask you to do this three more times, but I want you to inhale the light, divine light, and exhale love. Okay, so here we go. Inhale light. Exhale, love. Inhale, light. Exhale, love. And one last time. Inhale, light. And exhale, love. How are you feeling? I'm feeling heat all over my body. Let me know in the comments how you're feeling. How is this uh, moving through? How is the energy moving through? Just going to give it a minute to see if anybody types anything on it. I'm still transmitting the energy and holding space for you. Just to let you know the longer you are able to hold the energy, your hands are full of heat. Excellent, Francis. Yes. The longer you hold the energy on the area affected, so for you it would be your solar plexus, your headache is better. Okay. So Patty, you need to uh you could hold the energy a little bit longer there. I feel swirling in the slippers and tingling in the crown. Excellent, excellent. So that's definitely energy moving. Um, 
the longer you hold it, the longer you hold the energy in that state of gratitude with inhaling light and exhaling love. Inhaling light, exhaling love. The deeper your healing will be sometimes, sometimes, and I'm not expecting this to happen today, um, but sometimes when you're working on someone, the pain or the discomfort might actually flare up and feel even worse. And that just means it's coming up from the deepest ends of the body that's been, um, that has been buried. And so it comes up, so it, uh, it comes out and it can flare up or feel worse first. Just continue, just continue sending the love and the energy. And then it releases and it comes off. So just to let you know, if you're working on other, with other people or even in yourself, if that happens, it is not a time to stop the energy. It is time to continue the energy and to reassure that uh, what's supposed to happen is, supposed, is happening and to send that love, right? So you want that love to continue to flow as you keep on breathing, continue to flow the love. That is the highest frequency. That's the frequency I work with. And my angels, I call them my angels, but of course they're everybody's angels. Um, okay, and I'm having, I'm getting a message, and this is the message specifically for the three of you who are here right now. And what they're saying is, call on to your guardian angel for help. They're there waiting for you to say, please help me. They cannot help you unless you ask for that help, and so they're, really coming strongly right now saying to for you to to call upon them um in your journey because they're here for you your guardian angel is different than the other angels in terms of like the archangels or any other angels your guardian angel is working and is with you for your entire existence and only you so your guardian angel works for you can help you my guardian angel is not going to help uh, my son. I mean, if I asked them, they would, but they're here for me to help me. And your guardian angel is here to help you. And they're telling me right now that you're not calling on them. You kind of like forgotten about them uh, in terms of there's so many other things and so many other energies that you're working with, but your guardian angel is the one that knows you the most because your guardian angel is assigned to you for your entire existence. And that means past lives as well and future lives so from the moment that you were created that you became into existence your guardian angel is with you and they know every single one of your lives and every single time that you have gone through any lesson that you're working on or learning they know it and so call upon your guardian angel um for help on this and this is what they're asking Okay, so that was beautiful. Um, any other comments about how you're feeling or or anything else that you need? Let me know how this is feeling. The energy will continue to run for three days, okay? So once I do quantum energy, quantum energy healing, the energy continues to work uh, within your body for two to three days. Two, if, it's, if you're really, if your body's very dense, and you have a lot of blocks in terms of belief and three if you're more open so um drink lots of water and rest um and then if you are interested in taking my workshop in january on how to use your energy have a lot more different um tools to use to work with quantum energy healing to heal other people um, I'm going to put the link in here. I have a special, it's $200 off right now until the end of this week. So by the end of Sunday, and you're also able to share the cost for, uh, with up to three people, put two, <laughs> we have to three people, uh, if they are in your home with you. So that's one zoom meeting and four of you, you can split the cost around that. The purpose of that is for you to really share the, the gifts that everybody has and practice in real time because once you practice and you're able to see what you can do that's where the belief comes on and that is the strength that a lot of us need of 
of that belief, right? So when you're learning in this sacred, um, safe area, safe container, that you're able to see what happens. So I'm going to drop the link in here if you're interested in that. I am very, very excited about it. Um, and it's it's two hundred dollars off plus you can split the, the cost with uh, three people so it's really really inexpensive we're going to meet uh, one time a week uh, for four weeks in January I'm going to, I, I believe the time that I have there is in the evening and I'm also going to have a class uh, in the day like around this time around one o'clock Eastern time and that uh, we can work on that after you sign up if you decide to do that so that it works better for your schedule because I really want to make this very accessible to as many people as possible um, so that a lot of people are able to believe in themselves, begin that part of their journey of that belief with the strength and being able to heal themselves and others. And this really, really works, guys. I mean, um, I, don't, I was looking around with my boot yesterday. I'm saying it quietly because I don't want my husband to know because, you know, he will freak out like, oh my gosh, I'm walking without it. My, my foot is already okay. I'm just wearing it for show. <laughs> And <laughs> to get sympathy from him. Um, um, so I, the doctor said two more weeks, but I knew it was going to happen before. And I believe it was uh, the day before yesterday. I was like, okay, it's done. Like I knew it. Like I just got the download. Like your foot is done. It's ready. And I'm able to walk. So it works. Uh, it works really, really fast. Quantum energy healing works really, really fast. Um, and I've been doing it on my foot since I hurt myself. Um, from, from the moment that I was at the emergency room, I was running energy there. Um, also my husband, this happens up to a lot of us. And I just want to bring this out. My husband said today, cause he looked at my foot and it's like not even that swollen. It's like very little swollen. It's not like even big or anything. And he was like, wow, you really got lucky. And yeah, I guess I was right. But there is comments like that from the conventional area of people that puts doubt in yourself and the work that you have done. And so I can believe like, oh yeah, I did get lucky. Maybe I actually didn't really hurt myself. Or I can remember that when I was at the emergency room, they said, oh, this is going to take six to eight weeks and you won't be able to walk for like, a, you know, at least three, four weeks. And here I am after one week doing it. What have I done different is my energy work, right? So I've been doing energy work with the intention of healing and I've been feeling the heat in my ankle each time that I apply the energy there. So do not discount what you're able to do. My son had, um, this was I think in the summer, he had this pain, I forgot how it all started, but he, we ended up at the, the clinic, you know, the, the, the rapid clinics or whatever they're called, and he had this pain down here. And the doctor like asked him to like move his leg and, and he was pressing and my son's going, ow, ow. And the doctor's like, oh yeah, like I, I'm sorry to tell you this, but I think you might have appendicitis. And I was like, what? Oh my gosh, right? So um, he's like, yeah. And he was telling me all of the reasons why he thinks that he has that because my son could, he could barely touch him and he was like, ouch, right? So I left and he sent me to the, doc to the hospital. So I left the, the clinic and I got in the car and I had to tell my husband what was happening. And I immediately was like, no, no, I'm this, I, I call all my angels and I started running energy, sending energy to my son as I got to the hospital. Then we went to the hospital, they put him right in because they thought it was an emergency thing. And then we're waiting in the, in the room. And as we're waiting there, my son is laying down and I literally was running energy. So I had one hand on his appendix area and one hand on his crown. And I was running energy and running energy and then this nurse comes in and sees me and she's looking at me like I'm weird because you know I was <laughs> for for them. And um and then their doctor came in and the doctor did all the tests and stuff and he's like, Yeah, I, I, I don't think there's anything wrong with him. And then he did some other tests and he's pressing and he's going like this on, on my son's and, and my son is not doing anything and and he's like, Yeah, I don't think he has that uh, and it's like that. It was like that. And of course we had the whole relief and of course we wanted to watch and make sure that everything was okay. And then we left and that was it. And then I was like, oh my gosh, thank you. Thank you, angels. Thank you, angels. And all that. And then like three days later, I was like, wait a second. I had forgotten. I forgot that I had run energy on him. I forgot that I was holding my hands and running energy on my son before the doctor came back in 
between one doctor and the next. I forgot I did that. And I did. And we can discount what we are able to do and the power of our energy healing, of how strong it is and how fast it works. We can discount it because we are surrounded by doubters and we are doubters ourselves. And so it's very easy for us to buy into the, oh, maybe it was just gas. Like really, like would a doctor really send you to the emergency room? A doctor thinking that you have appendicitis if it was just gas, right? So like you really think about these things and don't discount it. And I was like, oh my gosh, like I I, still in in disbelief of the power of your intention and this is key the rejection of what the doctor's telling you so the rejection of the prognosis that they told me he's I think he's got appendicitis and he needs to go to the emergency room right now the rejection right you re- not, like nope nope that's not gonna be like no that no it's not it's just no right and then call on my angels call on all of my forces and start to run the energy for what you want it to be right and there was no reason like we went to the doctor for like it it ended up being like we went to the doctor for nothing because after that we went back home and everything was fine like like what happened right like really like what happened i don't know i don't care um i'm just letting you know that quantum energy healing really does work really fast. It's so strong. The more you use it, the stronger you get, the more you believe, the more you're able to help other people, the more you help other people, then what happens? Then they are able to help other people. And that is what lights me up on fire. It's being able to show you your power within so that you can shine and show people the same thing that I'm showing you, and even if it's just for yourself, right? You can use it on your pets. I was actually giving a uh, quantum energy healing to my plants this morning. I was waving to my son goodbye because you know I can drive with the boot, and so my husband was taking him, and I have my plants there, and I'm like giving energy to my plants. Um, so you can do this with everything and anything. We are all energy. We are all malleable, and um, yeah, just raise your frequency and everything around you will get to be better, right? A much better life. And that brings me to one last point. I know I'm, I'm going a little bit off, but um, here's another uh, another reality or unreality that I wanted to bring you, your attention to. Um, there's like posts, right? Uh, I had joined TikTok and for some reason, I started getting all these feeds on TikTok about, you know, the vax and things about against it. and really scary things and I was like seeing post after post after post and it was really easy to go down that road and feel really scared about it and then I was like okay at one point I was like I need to stop and I got off that and I just stopped looking at it because I didn't want to see that and then I started feeling so much better the only thing that changed is the feed that was coming into me right I can feel very very safe very good very happy with whatever's going around in the world around me if I don't buy into the negative feed no matter what it is no matter how well intended it is if it's negative and it's making you feel fear inside or making you feel bad or angry or any of those uh, low frequency vibes then you are going to start vibrating down here and you don't want that you want to vibrate up here because when you vibrate up here you lift up everyone else around you Right? When, you're, when you're vibrating at a really high frequency, the frequency of love, then everything happens nicely, harmony goes through, things flow with ease, you heal quickly, people around you treat you nicely, you get surprises of nice things that you like, right? And when you're, lo- when you're uh, vibrating at the low energy, when you're allowing yourself to be fed, Uh, low frequency energies from whomever it is it could be the TV it could be social media it could be your family it could be your friends right whatever it is that you are feeling and it starts to make you feel uneasy anxious uh, sad uh, upset or afraid recognize that that's not you recognize that that is a feed is a story you can buy into it if you want to and you can live that life or 
you can reject it and choose your own and how do you reject it you need to really get yourself away from it like that's it like i am no longer on tiktok like i cannot do it because the feed keeps coming up and somebody uh, recently came up on, on facebook that has never happened to me before and posted something very similar to what i was seeing on tiktok and it appeared on my feed and i was like okay uh okay i'm gonna unfollow that person like instantly like it's not somebody that I really like knew, but I'm like instantly I need to get that feed out of my awareness because I, I very easily can buy into it and start going down that rabbit hole and you don't want that. You want to go into the, the high frequency rabbit hole, the one that brings you more light, more uh, happiness, more ease in your life. And then you're able to maintain that frequency and everything flows with ease, right? Um, yeah, so that's what I wanted to let you know. I hope that this really helped you. I hope that um, you're feeling so much better. Like I said, the energy runs for two to three days after I run it. Um, when I work one-on-one -on, -one on a person, I run the energy for about 30 minutes. Usually, uh, if I can do more, I can do, I, I can do it more, but a lot of times um, we're talking with the client. But if you have some type of um, illness or some chronic thing that you want to work on and you want to work one-on-one -on -one with me, I run the energy for a long period of time and that really, really gets down to the core of it. I haven't done that with that many people because a lot of people um, um, have a lot of other things to share and work on. But working with the quantum energy healing and running it for a long period of time, it's not for everybody because, you know, people can get bored of just holding the energy and holding the, 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 the frequency. Um, but if you're able to do that, or when I do that with my clients, it really gets down to, to getting rid of anything that is really blocking the person to completely heal them. You can heal anything with it. And, and I do mean anything. Um, I have been, I have known this since I began and I have been really scared to talk about this publicly because you know if you say oh i can heal anything and then you know you get sued because it doesn't happen right especially if it's something like really really um deep or like an illness that has no cure or something right so this is something that i have been really scared to talk about but my guides keep telling me that this is something that i do need to speak about and and help people with it so i am speaking about it it is still very scary for me. I truly, truly believe in it. And just to let you know, I am not the healer. You are. I just hold the frequency and send it to you and allow you, give you the space for you to see what you can do. And then you are the one who heals yourself. That's the way it works. The healer is the person who's getting work on. Does that make sense? That's how it, that's how it works. So, um, yeah, I love you so much. Thank you for being here. I will come live again, hopefully sometime um, this week or maybe next week. I don't know. My son's off from school next week, so it's going to be a little bit more difficult. Um, I'll drop in the link in here if you guys want the, the special for to learn for that workshop on how to run energy really effectively to help others and yourself heal. Um, and remember that the sale is only until the end of this Sunday. And after that, um, it will go up to $100. So um, I love you so much and I will see you soon. Bye.